Okay, see you guys. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Talk About That, the show about the show. I'm Stevie, and you can be too for four equal payments of $81.99. Today's guests have worn short skirts, I wear t-shirts, none of us were cheer captains, but one of them kept score for their middle school girls basketball team on the bleachers. Please welcome Link and Rhett. <laughs> Woo! I say that right? Yes, $81.99. Four equal payments of $81.99. It's not for easy, but for equal is what Lilan Oleander had suggested for my intro today, guys. Well, that was great. Right. Yeah. You know, it was cool being here when you did that. Was I yeah, late? did it feel exciting? It was, was that... just so much easier. Than walking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. I'm exhausted. Um, Look at me. Guys, it's... When did to get here? It's Halloween. Yeah. Halloween! Yeah. This is like woop, woop. tonight is the party night. Everybody be to go safe out. out there. Yeah. And get um, your costumes together. If you can do it in a group, that way you can keep track that everyone's there, then that's a good idea. Speaking of group costumes. That's right, we did that. Yeah. I don't should we not say and then the then they can Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let people let's oh. let people figure it out. I it don't know what I am. No, studies show that when you just let people figure something out, they use more of their brain. <laughs> this week, guys, we have, there's plenty of people who, uh, who have dressed as you for Halloween. I can't wait to see those costumes come in. <laughs> yeah. um, but we are going to show doppelgangers, lookalikes, because we get quite a few emails <sighs> that come in every week Fun. of people who think that they see you or that they look <laughs> yep. like you. Um, I love these. And boy, <clears throat> some of them are wrong. Let me just say, <laughs> let me just say that. Uh, Alex spent an entire day uh, inside of a coffin. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. And I'm going to show you that as well. But first, we have our beverage of the week. Oh! And also, this beverage has a See this? Halloween <laughs> costume of its own. Uh, because it is uh, mermaid lemonade. It's dressed as a mermaid. <laughs> oh, this could be really good. Keep refrigerated below 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Drink within three days of opening. Well, all right, T minus three days. Um. Oh, yep. right on yep. that discarded tea bag. It was already open. How is this? It tastes like um, peach uh, lemonade. It's a little tart. It tastes like a tarty Powerade. Uh, I mean, it's a lemonade. It tastes like lemonade. Do you guys remember my intro? Yeah, I could probably say it word for it. It was a Taylor Swift lyric reference. Oh, oh. Because yep. Yep, 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 yep. we're talking doppelgangers. And because there were some years there where I looked very swifty, yeah. oh, I was told. We took advantage of that one yeah, time. That, oh my gosh, you're, you're just doing all the segues and all the intros today. Um, so in 2013, when we did the Mythical Show, I looked so Taylor Swifty that we decided to use me for what is quite possibly the most embarrassing clip of all time as a hidden annotation video Ooh, for the yeah. Taylor Swift caption fail video. Sunday, I need, even in a pickle city, and now you're ever on the use of me. Um, and for those of you that did not find that hidden annotation uh, video, here it, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> A still from that is my phone background. And here is that still right there. I can't believe I am your phone background. That is so <laughs> mm -hmm. truthful. It used to be my family. <laughs> no, it is still my family. And also here is another photo from 2014. This is Taylor Swift's Halloween costume and mine in 2009. Are you uh, Mac in that? What, what is it? Max. What, Max? I'm Max. It was uh, actually a very unoriginal costume for the time, but it was all handmade, and uh, and I thought it was pretty who cool. Who is Max? Uh, from Where, where the Wild, the wild things, things Are. Where the Wild Things Are, man. Oh, the book. Yeah. The book. Books. <laughs> Books. Oh. Um, anyway, the other person that, of course, I get a lot, which I actually see, is Avril Lavigne. So this is the side-by-side -side of Avril Lavigne and I. Yep. That I That's can, close. This was emo day. 
Stevie and uh, happens to be just Avril's like normal thing that Avril's she does. Avril's making a comeback. I heard that. Gives you hope. <laughs> what? Yep. Right, yeah. Yep. Um, your uh, celebrity doppelgangers are Dana Carvey for Link. Yeah. Or Garth, the character. Yeah. More, even more specific. specifically, yeah. And then yeah. specifically for Rhett, it would be, of course, the Supercuts guy. <laughs> yeah, right. That's me. <laughs> you get that a lot. <laughs> Boy, everyone thinks that's me. Sometimes I do. <laughs> I've gotten seven free haircuts at Supercuts because of that guy. There's also, I guess, a, an ad on the Staples Center right now that everyone thinks is you as well. And when I started talking about this episode, everyone on the crew was like, yeah. oh my God, have you seen that guy? Which I haven't, and I don't have a photo of it. But I'm assuming he is this guy. It's um, also not good me. Good for him. I'm glad he's getting all that yeah. ad work. Um, but okay, so we get emails into our business account all the time. I'm going to read you some of them. I'm going to show you some of the photos. Okay. The emails are almost just as good as the photos. So are you prepared yes. for this? Okay. The first subject line is, I am Link's doppelganger. Oh. And the email reads, mm, Self-proclaimed. On several occasions, I have been asked if I was you. Most recently, it was at a Chipotle. Mm, okay, good. If you are ever in the need of a doppelganger for any of your material, or if you would like to just meet to satisfy your own curiosity, uh -oh. I would be interested. This is from Jonathan Wick... I, I, can, I can't even... Rickersming and Coon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I'm sure um, that's And it. he has three photos. So yeah. the first photo... Uh, it's oh. like an old school Link photo. I feel like if you look to the right of that, like don't look yeah. right at the squint, photo, look to the right. Squint your eyes, like the way that the bangs swoop over, that's my old That could style. be Link. Um, all right, and then here's the next photo. He's updated his Hold look. On. Is that the same guy? It's the same guy, and he's holding... He's waiting for Cinderella. ...high heels in he, that one, which is a very Link thing to do. This one's not as good. He's lost it. And then should've this is the this most one. recent one of him. There we go. Now we've got it. Okay. That's me. Yeah. Okay. That could that's work. That's pretty. That's pretty accurate. Yeah, so. um, no, um, dude. You ain't me, man. Hold on. You can't be do, the judge. Do of that. your own thing, man. Well, you I mean, can't be the judge. None of, of that. these people are you, Link. Jonathan, you <laughs> used to look like me, and then you wised up and you became yourself. Um, Leave uh, me out of it. This one Better is friend. is um is still Link. It's a little bit more exotic. It's oh, um yeah. I found Link's clone in Greece. Uh, and the email reads, Dear Link, and of course, Rhett. Uh, of course. I am Panos. I am Greek. I watch your Mythical Morning episodes with pleasure. Keep up, pals. And I think he means, like, keep it up, pals, not keep up with his email. Keep up, pals. This is moving fast. I'm moving real fast. <laughs> and work here in my beautiful country together with a colleague, which is, by the way, an exactly clone of you. It would be nice to hear from you, and even nicer if you could come visit Greece. But don't come too close to your clone. You would both disappear in a higher dimension. I like this guy already. That's how I ascend. There you go. So that is Greek Link, who is uh, in the army. On the right. I don't know, man. I think you guys needed to keep up. Keeping up. You need to keep up, pals, because I think that's a pretty good doppelganger. I okay, think it's this pretty one's good. Um, doesn't look like me. The email subject line is Great looking guy, not me. Doppelganger. Simple. Yep, yep, yep. Message is just, hello, I thought I would send you Rhett's doppelganger. Thanks, yes. Peyton Lowheed. Um, and it's pretty normal, but this is uh, this is Rhett's. Oh, hey now. <laughs> there is a thing. There is like a certain, I don't know what it is. There is a- The eyebrow shape. There's a quality to that guy's face. Long nose. Which is, it, it, we're in the same ballpark. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit buggy eyes, the long nose, the, the stark eyebrows. General face shape. He's got a little bit more of a chin than me, um, <laughs> which is a good thing for him. Um, all right, uh, back to Link with this one. We're gonna go. We're we're getting odder and odder, like not the animal, but like oddity. Okay, wise. got it. Right. The subject line is still doppelganger. The email reads, "I'm not sure which dude is Rhett and which is Link, <laughs> but I've been forwarded pictures of these guys on multiple occasions by various people. The first photo I saw, I literally thought I was looking at myself." I did a classic double, nay triple take. Other than the fact that he has blue eyes and I have brown eyes and enormous biceps, we could be twins. Uh oh. I no longer have the long flowing and occasionally shampooed hair of my youth, but the resemblance is quite solid. Uh, okay. I would be open to a live interview provided we don't need to check the veracity of my previous bicep claim on air. <laughs> we'll never know if that's true or not. Plus, it might be nice for him to see what he'll look like at 40. Spoiler alert, handsome. 
have a Spoiler touch. alert. We're he is 40. 40. <laughs> Are you talking about me or you right now? You. You. Me. Okay. Yeah. I've attached a recent selfie and an older screen cap of an interview I did with some guy out of New York with a purple tie. I thought for sure he said we'd be wearing silky bathrobes. Kindest regards, Chad. Which, when I read his name was Chad, I just kind of was like, this guy is so is such a Chad. Let's see him in a silk robe. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. is That's a Chad. I did a double, nay, I say triple take. <laughs> Look at, what is this? He's in Beirut. It's interesting because there was, like the last guy, there were like these indicators, very clear indicators. You're like, he, it, similar look. Right, to mm -hmm. you. There, we haven't so, seen that yet with Link. Well, this is his updated selfie without the silk robe. Okay, now I see it. I mean, I do and I don't. No, I'm joking, I don't. <laughs> I mean, he has glasses on. He has on. glasses. He's, He's a, a white, white guy. guy with glasses yeah. in front of cabinetry. This one, uh, this is for Rhett. He doesn't get as many submissions. Uh, the sub subject line is Rhett lookalike, and the email uh, that Flanagan sent to me literally says, finally, a lookalike email about someone other than Link. <laughs> and then the person's email says, Rhett kind of looks like the drummer from Fleetwood Mac, from Aaron Beale. Um, so here's the drummer from Fleetwood ba Mac, and here is a still from Rhett from Buddy System Season 2. I could see a little of that. But the drummer from Fleetwood Mac is Rick Fleetwood. And this is what Rick Fleetwood looks like now. That's are, are you sure a, that's it's not Mick? Photo. You mean no, okay. Mick Fleetwood? That's what I meant. Mick Fleetwood, not Rick Fleetwood. I would be happy to look like that in. in I said Fleetwood. In, in a well. few years. He's on Fleetwood. Um, well, look at this. Oh yeah. snap! Yeah. Again. Am yes. I right? On yeah. Fleetwood. So I think that Aaron Beale was onto something. You do. Look like Mick Rick. You look like Mick Fleetwood. Rick Fleetwood, man. Um, this is a, a different one as well. Uh, it's a historic reference. The subject line is, found a pick hair that looks like Rhett. Email. Hey, my name is Pedro, and I'm from Florida's. Was on YouTube and found a picture that was frozen since 1914, though you might found it interesting. What? So okay. this is I I a I reversed photo. Oh, I I uh, looked been, up what this was. I've been found out. And it's from something called the Rossi photographs. And yep. basically, should have never done it. In 1915, an Antarctic expedition, like crew from this uh, from this expedition, yeah. wrecked and survived more than three years uh, on. Uh, on ice. <laughs> ice, yeah, we, we survived on ice. But they uh, they lived in an abandoned hut. Hut, yep. And then they took these photographs. Yeah, lots, <laughs> of photographs lots of photographs. They found the negatives yep. and they survived for 100, 100 years. And, then, years. <laughs> and they had them um, processed. Yeah, we got a process. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was involved in the whole thing. <laughs> I was involved then, I was involved now. If... <laughs> if you and Jude Law had a baby that grew up, that would be your baby. Um, okay, but here's my all-time favorite. This is a Link submission. Uh, the subject line, Link's doppelganger. Email reads, I'm so sorry this is not business related, but I thought this was too funny not to share. <laughs> I found Link's doppelganger, which is a bit hilarious, and I didn't have any other way of contacting ya. Uh, Hannah Ruth. Oh, 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 whoa. I That's know who pretty this is. good. This one looks like yeah, yeah, yeah. it is you. Yeah, 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 I yeah, don't yeah, yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Something is, weird is happening. Everything about this works because it's kind of clouded in mystery or even shrouded in mystery. And it's kind of like a Bigfoot photo, you know what I'm saying? What? It's difficult to make out anything, but that's you, man. Everything about it. I think that's me acting like I'm on a bike while shirtless, which might. In my younger days, I was constantly shirtless, and I'm in front of a television of the Tour de France. No, yeah. no, no. That guy is on the television, but somebody took a picture of the television. I mean, that arm even looks like my arm. Do you remember this? No. But. Hmm. But it must have happened. Even though this is you, I do think that you have one ultimate doppelganger, uh, and let's see who that is. <laughs> wow. My dad, man. You are your dad. That's yeah. And if I took the glasses you, off, let's do one of those into your single right now. Let's see. Got it. And good. Okay. Thank and you. Good. 
Um, so I mentioned that Alex spent the day in a coffin. I didn't really explain to you why. Um, there is a reason. We don't want to know. So, um, <laughs> okay, so Teresa had tweeted um, about Six Flags St. Louis customers competing for $300 by spending 30 hours in a coffin. Yes. Which makes no sense because why? Um, but then she tagged Alex um, because she said Alex would do it for $50. And Alex decided to come back um, and say that I will pay $100 to spend 30 hours in a coffin, and that's my final offer. He, so he misunderstood. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. I think he was willing to pay $100. Um, I took him up on that offer, and so he spent the entire day, the entire work day, <laughs> in a coffin. Let's see. Coffin day here at the office. Uh, looking forward to getting everything started. Morning. So I'll just get going here. I'm gonna be working from in here today. Paid good money for this opportunity. I'll see you guys. There's a lot to do, but I'm gonna try and get my laptop right now, which I unfortunately left down by my foot. Gonna get in here. Is my laptop out of batteries? 7%, we're low on battery today. I'll be working from the phone. All right, you know what? David, what's going on today? We're meeting with Paisley about the peanut butter jar car. I mean, with Paisley about something. Peanut butter jar car, Alex. Okay, thank you. Peanut butter jar yeah. car. Hey, Paisley, are you there? I am, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can we talk about this jar car for a minute? Yeah, that's why I'm here, man. Cool. So, What do you think of the paint job? Does it look like a peanut? I mean, I think so. What do you think? I cannot see, so. What if? What was that? That's it, can you? Oh, okay, so it sounds great, yeah. honestly. It sounds good, it's got a nice sound to it. It's got like a car sound, so it's like a jar car. Is it tan man in the sun or more brown bear? Uh, kind of like an in-between, you know, uh, like a peanut, like, yeah. a, like peanut butter? Yeah. So if you think of like the peanut butter color, it's basically like that. Great job, I think it's good. Cool. All right, I knew it was gonna be a long day, but uh, luckily I brought my special bag here. I'm just gonna attach this. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Let's grab this now. Oh God, don't break. All right, there we go. Clean, friendly, it's good. Hey Kevin. Hey Alex. Hey man, so I just wanted to check and make sure the episodes are funny and also good. Uh, yep, the episodes are funny and good. Okay, thanks man. You're welcome. It's lunchtime here, which is also when I like to play with the office dogs. Uh, unfortunately, they're next door. Oh, God. Hey Teresa. Oh my God. Is someone in there? Hey, uh, I was wondering if I could play with Wushu as I usually do around this time. You usually play with Wushu around this time? Yeah, well, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> my special boy! There he is. There's my special boy. <laughs> <gasps> Wushu! Oh! <laughs> okay, see you guys. <laughs> Good boy. He's licking my beans. Hey guys. Hey. Just wanted to see how business was going. Oh, it's very good. <laughs> okay, well, it's and felt dead. I can't come to lunch with you today. I brought my own. That's fine. I understand you're busy. Okay. R.I.P. Interns. Oh God. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm just doing some editing. I'm talking the other intern. Other what? intern. Yeah, what's up? What are you doing? I'm also doing some editing. Okay, well, how's it going? Pretty well. I'm talking the other intern now. Oh, it's, it's going green. It's going green? Great. Uh, green, I guess. Or great. Which is it? Green or great? Both. So I'll talk to you guys later. 
There's a heck of a day, boys. I think we all got a lot done. Uh, there's some stuff in there you're gonna have to. All right, I'll deal with it. Thank you. Have a good night. David, go look at what's in there. Okay, the back of piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back pretty, pretty much sums it up. So oh. I um I had Alex that hundred dollars that he paid he just paid it right to the rental company for the coffee. Oh you know, good. Just well, taking, <laughs> okay, good. My, so oh, right so it was a break even. That in covered it. Yeah. <laughs> for him. <laughs> well, that's all. Thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for being well, here. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Um, Any anytime you need us to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you we'll for liking, it. commenting, and subscribing. And now our final line. Three, two. Until, Until next LTAT, keep, keep on, on BYMB. F-O-S-H-O. I got it. <laughs> <laughs>